Chairman Kim has the chance to seize an incredible future for his people. Anyone can make war, but only the most courageous can make peace. President Trump looking ahead to what the future may hold for the Korean Peninsula following his historic summit with Kim Jong-un. Joining us right now is Dong Hyuk, Hyuk Lee, Voice of America Korean Service Chief. Dong uh, Hyuk, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So you followed the developments out of the Korean Peninsula for years. Give us your reaction. Well, I would say this is a significant uh, because uh, it is the, the first agreement between a, uh, a sitting U.S. president and uh, North Korean leader on the nuclear issue. Uh, basically, a uh, North Korean leader has uh, given his uh, personal commitment to uh, denuclearization to a uh, sitting uh, U.S. president. So it is significant. What happens now, though? I mean, are you concerned, for example, of some of the issues that we've been bringing up? For example, number one, the military exercises will stop between the U with the U.S. and South Korea. People are worried about what the U.S. gets out of this. I mean, as I put it, uh, this is a statement between two leaders. So it's a vague and it's a kind of a general and it lacks specifics. And uh, uh, it's just a statement. And it's just uh, you know, a series of uh, promises. Now, I'd like to make uh, one point. Uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo uh, has uh, stressed uh, multiple times that the uh, U.S. will seek a CBID approach, uh, you know, that is complete, uh, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't have that language in the statement. Now, why is this so important, particularly verification was a really, really an obstacle to any progress uh, in, in past talks with North Korea. And uh, the simple fact that uh, uh, President Trump could not have uh, Kim Jong-un uh, agree on uh, a goal to uh, verify uh, his country's nuclear weapons, uh, it could be a troubling sign. Yeah, Dong, we saw the same language back in the 1990s, the agreed framework. This is Mary Kissel here. Security guarantees in exchange for vague language about denuclearization. Uh, could we be getting played here? Could they just be stalling for time? Uh, I think we, we do have that uh, danger, and, uh, but uh, we have to put things into, into context. I mean, again, uh, this is the start of the uh, you know, process of uh, actual work. I mean, the actual work of uh, negotiations has not even started yet. So we have to in anticipate the you know, long, tough process. All right. We, we will leave it there. Dong, thanks very much for weighing in this morning. We appreciate it. Dong Hyuk Lee from Voice of America there.